because you look at the last couple of years and if you look at the year or two that's coming ahead of us, for you, I mean, obviously you can get efficiencies, but what are the things that are really creating pressure? Like wh what are the input costs and other things that are really causing you to think about raising prices? And what's the role of labor, for example? Mm, labor is, is becoming an issue. And labor was a product of the easy money as well. You know, governments were throwing around checks, free money, assistance. And I'm not against that, you know. And if, it's, if, it, do, if, it, if it helps, that's fine. But what happened is that people don't want to work anymore. People got used to sit at home and enjoy life and do better jobs or much easier jobs than doing, you know, a little bit harder jobs. That's what we are facing today, especially in the developed world. I mean, we, we are not facing this in Central America or Africa or uh, mm. South America, but we are facing this uh, in the United States in in Europe uh, somehow. Uh, but this is really a big uh, issue for us. And that's why it is driving us now towards more technology uh, more uh, robotic uh, use, if we can, uh, more uh, mechanization and, and uh, technology, mm -hmm. and uh, if that if 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 that labor is is getting a better job or a better pay, that's good because that will help the economy and that will help even uh, turning more uh, having more uh, you know uh, liquidity and income mm -hmm. in the hands of of people to spend more. And, and consume more. Uh, but I think, you know, I don't believe that it's a bad, you know, it's bad in one way that it's giving us issues, you know, in terms of uh, finding enough labor to run our operations. But in the, in the long term, I think that this will create new opportunities and new technologies that will help everybody at the end of the day.